Hey everybody, welcome back. It's gonna be the last run of the weekly for this week. I, 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 it started out a little rough. It's sadly not a stretch to say that that burrito I had before the second video saved my, my week. Maybe like an extra pants. Great thing to pack in your suitcase. If you're like, did I pack everything? One of the greatest tips I ever got about packing and, you know, like, it's, we're getting hyper-specific here, <laughs> I'll admit. But one of the greatest tips I ever got about packing, when I used to pack, I would think, okay, I'm going to be away for, like, seven days, seven pairs of socks, seven pairs of underwear. I read something online that was, like, little pro tip for you. I always pack N plus one pairs of socks and N plus one pairs of underwear, where N is the duration of your time away. Saved me, not that many times, it's maybe saved me a few times. It's not because I poop my pants, you know? It's more because like, oh, I, my shoe isn't waterproof and I stepped in a puddle or something like that. All I'm gonna say is the cost of putting one extra pair of underpants and an extra pair of socks in your suitcase is nearly zero. And the benefit it gives you if it ends up being useful is extremely high. That's a, a value, a high EV trade we take any day of the week around these parts. I, I listen. I know it's a little basic, but I'm I'm a woodpecker, Andy, this week. Now, what inevitably is going to happen is some of you out there are 21 years old, 22. You got it all figured out. You're going to say, "I just won't poop my pants." You know what? More power to you. You got extra space in your suitcase for what? I don't know, like two loaves of bread and a jar of peanut butter or something like that. What do I know? It's not like I've been through it before. Well, I'm just going to say wait until you have simultaneous uh, Salmonella and Campylo back there and then get back to me. Nobody gets those. Oh, you haven't been following um, the outrageous Salmonella outbreak right now in Canada and the United States. Turns out there was some spoiled cantaloupe out there. Well, 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 all of a sudden it turns out the old man knows what he's talking about, okay? He might, I've been around the block a couple of times. That's all I'm saying. I'm not that worldly, but... More worldly than some. Me personally, um, the otter has no reason to exist. Chili pepper can go kind of crazy in the right hands. We kind of got to leave it like this. And only in the right hands. And honestly, the other thing is, I know I'm saying honestly a lot. I'm getting very self-conscious about it now. It just overwrites the, the honey. I'm okay with that. Um, it's, there, we got a lot of positional mathematics to, to be concerned about here. Um, help. Never mind, I'm fine. I was going to say, like, I'm not that worried about the, the bee getting overridden. That doesn't really matter to me all that much. I do want to pill you. I'm, oh, you know what I was going to say is I'm actually not that worried about the penguin. And that's definitely true. The, the penguin doesn't concern me at all. We've been using the penguin too much, if anything. Now, that was I put the honey on the flamingo almost as like a stealth rice, knowing I get one extra gold after the pill. It's not an incredible tech, but it's, it's something. This is just for level-based purposes, kind of in a holding pattern right now. I do want to pill the tar, but I want to pill the tar into something... And I thought about the weasel, I did. I want to pill the tar into something more useful. Like, I think pilling the tar into, like, a panther is kind of an interesting way to, to approach it. Now, this order was scuffed. We were going to lose either way, but the order was bad. That's definitely true. How about this? I'm going to take a little sniper. <laughs> oh, we're going to override it again. <laughs> okay, I see you've played this game before. Oh, no, we're not going to override it again, actually. Now, we are still going to lose, but at least we didn't override it because we got sniped instead. All right, it's, things are not looking amazing right now. Can I say, without um, invoking any ire, can I say that I think it's partly due to some relatively poor luck right now. It 
It's not the worst luck we've ever had in the shop, but we're not getting our, our classic lines, that's for sure. Not really stoked about seeing a rhinoceros here. Oh my god. I'm thrilled with the draw. I'm not salty about that at all. Just to, to get around the hold is... The panther. <laughs> um, hey, we got another panther. Okay. I think I have to try you. And then... Like, I, I again... I think that I have like heavily overrated the the panther but i also think it's what we called for so like of course i'm gonna give it a chance very close that one one score being with death touch is is a tough one to get over so let's give it a chance here we gotta we gotta take a scaler and let's just let's feed you you guys stat it up pretty quick. Pretty quick. We got a roll. Not, not my favorite role in the business. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is not my favorite role in the business. Bill Murray, when he signed the contract to be Garfield twice. <laughs> what a shot, bro. What a shot. What a shot. What a shot. What a shot. We're going to die. <laughs> We're in a lot of trouble. Um... Honestly, you're just not doing it. I got, if there's ever a chance for us to get out of this, it's got to be like... It's got to be you coming up. Maybe you come up front and you snipe something big in position one. Next round. We combine and place you. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think we're screwed, but give it a chance, okay? I'm going to make you screw me. I'm not just going to give up. They got me. <laughs> I really thought we were cooking up something more interesting there. Roll once. Okay. I hate it, but that's fine. Um, it'll be like a f upset monk. Imagine being mad, but having taken a vow of silence for the rest of your life. That's got to be frustrating. Well played. Well played, Ants. Me when I'm the executive producer of A Bug's Life in 1996. Honey just doesn't appeal to me. Let's try that. We could easily be on four life at the end of this. Um, and that's okay. In fact, that's exactly what happened. Oh, really should have repositioned my horses. That's a very common mistake I'm making here. And it's actually, it doesn't always happen. It's, it's come back to bite me very quickly. For one round, we can go swan. It becomes a 3-2. It becomes a perfectly respectable unit. Two free gold out of this. Well, not free, but... Then a flamingo. Nothing wrong with the flamingo. Roll. Skeptical of, of the strategy layer that we've got going on here. <laughs> oh my god, we won. All right. I, the, I'm still getting used to the idea that the ox is bad. They completely turned the meta on its head. I, uh, I honestly, for now, just give me this. I don't know. I don't... Just, just chill. Just relax. I'm not interested in that. I have lost to a dog team in the past, but it's, it's not a common sight. Let's put it that way. I would love to just hold on this round. They got a lot of stats, though. They got a pretty... It's a statistically quite a strong-looking squad. Okay, fair enough. And until they get beaten by an aardvark team, I'm like, you earned it. You know, you, 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 you picked the lane, and the lane worked for you. Congrats. It's like when people on the slow lane get to avoid heavy traffic. You're like, fair play. I was, I, sometimes that's me in the slow lane. That, you know what's satisfying, by the way, when you're driving? Anybody who maybe has to drive to the Richmond Costco in uh, the greater Vancouver area around rush hour probably experiences this. You're heading uh, south on Oak Street. It's bumper to bumper traffic. Dude in a big truck from the other lane cuts in front of you drives 
two blocks, goes back into the fast lane. You don't see him again. Three blocks later, your lane starts moving and you pass him. And you're like, well, why are you wasting all the electrons on the signal light? All the, all the extra gas to accelerate into another lane, calories to move the steering wheel. We're all getting, it's traffic, bro. It's like you're a water droplet in the pipe and you're like, let me get to the faucet faster. We're all going to get there. When we get there, it moves at a set speed. It's not like you're going to get around one slow guy in bumper to bumper traffic and then be like, oh, I'm, I'm free. We're all slow guys. We all got, we're all going in the same direction. Anyway, I digress, I suppose. Obviously, we're going with this. And then I think this makes a lot of sense. This, here's one that'll drive you crazy. Here's one that'll bake your noodle. Four squad, Falcon at the front. And find a way to buff this fool. I love free money. My word. <laughs> oh, who needs a weasel? You can get two weasels. Okay, honestly, you're just not... I don't believe in you anymore. <laughs> I, I want a stoat. Just because I like where we're at right now. We don't have to be four squatted anymore. We could always put something else in front. But they'd have to give me like a compelling reason for it. And they didn't. So we're going to keep memeing it up, okay? Hold. We hold on this. We continue to hold. Oh, we're holding steady, bro. Call me Craig Finn the way I be holding steady. You're sold into a Falcon. It's actually not that bad. We don't have to be four squatted anymore. We would love to get something good though. <laughs> Tar is not bad, but I got bad memories. As unfair as it is. We don't have to be four squatted. Okay, okay. Obviously horse is not gonna stick around too long, but it might as well soak up some buffs from the penguin for now, I guess. Wow, things went wrong like immediately. <laughs> My word. Um, sell me. I'll, I'll say buy me on this. It's, it's kind of spicy, I'm realizing. Even though we lost the last round. Come on. Get something. The tier 1, 1, 1, 2. Come on. Just, come on, man. Give me something. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, it's dangerous to have a scorpion in position 1. Because every team is running woodpecker. So let's get that lad out of there. What did I tell you? What did I, what did I freaking tell you? Now we still lost, but at least we got value out of our scorpion. It's like a moral loss. Certainly not a moral victory. Okay. Um, sorry to the scorpion, but we need to keep some stats on our squad if we're going to have any chance. Because we are on one life. Skunk is always nice. We can now... Oh, no, we can't really rework the order here. Okay, I can't believe we're here again, but so be it. I think we're probably cooked. Uh, a penguin buffing a silk moth is not... It's not the coup that I thought it was. <laughs> and a, a Doberman of that sort of repute, I don't think so. Okay, we lived. We lived. For God's sakes, hold. Thank you. Also improves our penguin. Uh, the only way out is via this. Sorry to the penguin that I just said we improved. It's genuinely like if, if we stand a chance to get to 10, and I kind of think we definitely don't, um, but if we stand a chance to get to 10, it has to go like this, and we need more dragons ASAP, and we need to never play another good team. These are not like easy tasks. Yeah, I mean, we just lost. <laughs> I deserve that. We were adrift in the middle of that game. Like we, we had no idea what we were doing. Now, on this team, a Silk Moth would go kind of crazy, bro. Moist. 
mouth. What a name. By the way, uh, if, it, if this refers to you, I apologize. But we're not doing the moist is a gross word thing anymore. It's 2023. We got bigger problems. If it bothers you, I understand that probably comes as a small uh, consolation. I simply have to tell you from the rest of us, we're tired of hearing it. Okay? People out there, I was going to say people out there got real problems, but the misophonia crowd does not like to hear that. And I can honestly put myself in their shoes, I can understand why. I'm going to be the bigger person and say I can understand why. So that's probably, it sucks to hear. That being said, it's a word in the English language. Moist, it describes things. You would use it to describe food or uh, conditions outside. Doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, the exit's over there. I'm, I'm standing up for myself. I'm standing up for what I believe in. Can I get something half decent? No, that's not possible. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate, I appreciate the, at least the consideration. What are we dealing with here? Aardvark at the front, not the kind of thing you'd be super excited about, but then I, here I am excited about it because we won anyway. Huge. I'm taking it right away. I regret it. It's strange. You're looking happily. You know what I'm saying? Deranged. Anyone here watch The Adventures of Pete and Pete? Or have all the people my age moved on to watching the Squid Game uh, game show on Netflix now? Or have you hit your target yet? Something. You know what I'm saying? Old school Nickelodeon, we're still out here. We're still young, we're still hip, we're still with it. We still know Artie, the strongest man in the world. It's hard to argue with this one, man. It's, it's mighty hard to argue with this one. Because none of the units... Oh, I should have frozen a pill! <laughs> none of the units that I have on my team really appeal to me all that much. And that's normally like the reason you wouldn't get a Doberman. Now this is gonna be a great Falcon. Listen, we've all been here and I don't mean on vacation. We all know the Falcon's good. Like that's not a revelation. We're trying to get a little new knowledge. There's things that give you a benefit, not, not interested. You might as well take some stats. Nah, we're looking for a pill to freeze or a soul to squeeze. So the, our main requirement right now is we just hold as long as possible. That's a bummer. Because <laughs> it takes a while for the Doberman to kick in. It's hard to make it work. And in the meantime, we suffer mightily. <laughs> we do, we do. Because I am basically getting no benefit uh, whatsoever. So how about, y honestly, you get sold. You come out, you might as well snipe because we don't want a melon armor, really. I was hoping to get something of merit. We can at least freeze the pill and for like a couple rounds, okay? For a couple rounds, a spider with meat, paying one and a half gold per round. I don't know what that is. It's probably like 99% APR, but... Uh, when you're in a pinch, you got to do what you got to do. And we, we, I'm happy to win, but I'm even happier not to lose. We want to, I know it seems a little backwards here. We want to pill the ant last. So that it's guaranteed to go to the Doberman. But then we need to like immediately pivot to this Doberman getting coconut armor, which is then probably immediately gonna be broken by like a woodpecker. But you gotta do what you gotta do, brother. You gotta do what you gotta do. We need tier five units, please. That's one. Sell me. Sell, uh, we're, we're, it's a full pivot this round. Don't get it twisted. Even if we're like partially squatted. Tier fives, please. That's a tier five. If we're partially squatted. Bro said if. Oh, 
OK. I think I think I want it like this. <laughs> I don't I don't want the other lad. I don't want this guy either. What's my my reasoning? I want you to tank a woodpecker shot. You, you step one. You can't get hit by a woodpecker shot. I need you to live so you can kill a big enemy, and then this rhino could possibly kill all their scalers. The rest just fell in based on first principles. Everyone chill. My scorpion. We take those. That was all positioning, bro. I get a lot of heat when I position my stuff incorrectly. Let's give me a little bit of credit on this one. I did a pretty good job on that one. Just in case. Okay. I still, I know it's bizarre, but I like it like this. Because there's just woodpeckers are so prevalent. Oh, bro, what a snipe with the with the equipment, no less. And yet we hold. We we have like no scaling essentially. So I didn't freeze the. Uh, maybe we don't care about that now that I think about it. Very nice. Okay, um, we can mess with the order. I don't mind taking a komodo. I'm not thrilled about it because I don't think it's been amazing for us this week, but I don't mind throwing a cat out here as well. And then, uh, admittedly, we've been getting a little extra juice as a result of changing the order, but we, we need stats at some point too. This stings. So freaking close, bro. So freaking close. Take some of this. Take some of this. Maybe you could get a scorpion pumping because of this cat, right? And like a, a little sushi would help. Gotta try at least. Like this scorpion is no joke now, man. Scorpion is no joke. Unless it gets killed by a woodpecker instantly. It didn't. Really. <laughs> Let's go. We hold. We hold. No guarantees, but we're holding for now. Food is like the most important thing. Even more important than a Doberman, but like we got to do what we got to do, right? I don't think another melon is a apropos here. Both of these are apropos, but with only a little bit of gold left, we want food instead. That's a big jump, bro. Just every round is very spicy here. Just hold. I don't love my order, but it does protect my scorpion. And scorpion in front of the rhino is kind of like what we're looking for. Never mind. Never mind. We gave it the old college try, though. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves watching this weekly. If you have, click the like button. I wish we went off on a better note, but hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!